Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I wanna to do another episode for my new tackle and trends video selection. And this is where I showcase a new bait or new technique or new item on the market. And I have one that's pretty cool. I think it's something that maybe some guys have been doing, maybe they haven't, but with the latest trend and excitement over the finesse style baits, the smaller baits like the Ned Rig. This is one that I think you're gonna to wanna to know about if you aren't already throwing it. There's some different ones out there, but this one is new to the market. I'm actually gonna be playing with it and putting it through the motions and seeing how I can put this into tournament fishing situations to help me produce you know, more and better fish and have better catches. Before I get right into it, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. So this item is new to me. It's the Buckeye Mushroom Jig. And I got a couple of sizes. I got a 3 16 and a quarter ounce. And I'm gonna, it comes two to a pack. There's a couple different colors. I tried to keep it simple, and since this is a new lure to me, I'm gonna play with green pumpkin. I felt like, you know, green pumpkin is probably one of the best colors when it comes to uh, smaller baits, as far as like Ned rigs, small jigs, and different things like that. So in keeping it simple and playing with a new item, I am actually going to try to implement this little guy. I'm talking about a baby little, it's, I wouldn't know if I'd call it a micro bait, but it's small. Give you an idea here in my palm of my hand. That little guy right there is very cool. It's the Buckeye mushroom jig. And then again, I've got it in quarter ounce and three sixteenths. There's not a lot of difference between quarter and three sixteenths, but there are times when you just want a lighter bait and a slower fall, rate of fall, that actually will get more bites. Let me just show you what this is all about. I'm not exactly sure what size hook that is, but um, it's a little guy. Let me try to move some of the material out of the way. It's a little fine wire, maybe not fine wire, medium wire hook right there. Get it right where you can see it. And um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's just a little bit of a step up from say your traditional Ned rig hooks. And this guy comes with a little wire weed guard. Move some of the, the silicone uh, skirting material out, out of the way. It's one of those Y-shaped weed guards and it just kind of runs just like that. And so that you know your hook does not get hung up in brush or twigs or if it turns over and runs towards rocks, it's gonna, it's gonna keep your bait out of there. Again, the, uh, the mushroom jig obviously has a little mushroom style head, which is something that guys use with the Ned Rig. And then you have one of those little finesse style, uh, what we call uh, Elvis cut, um, this or spider cut jig profiles. And one of the other things that it has is a little keeper on the inside right there so that whatever trailer that you're gonna put on this little mushroom uh, jig will stay on there. You could, uh, you know, skip it and uh, your baits are not gonna slide down the hook. I'm, I do, I am pretty excited about this one. I really feel like this is gonna be uh, a bait that's gonna put some fish in the boat when nothing else will work. And I think in some situations, you can slow reel it and even, you know, just barely trace the bottom, bottom bounce it and catch some fish with this little guy, how we're gonna fish it. I believe the way this jig was designed was to, uh, you know, to put a Ned Rig type soft plastic on the back. I just recently watched a video and the guy was catching fish on a Ned Jig. And this is what I believe this is gonna be. And so in pairing it with a Yamamoto Ned Sanko, and this is a three inch version, and the beautiful thing about this, can't wait to see this in the water. I mean, this is so totally brand new. I haven't even tied one of these on, but that's what this new Tackle and Trends video is about. It's showing you new things that are out there on the market. And even as they're new to me, 
taking my three inch Ned Senko, I'm just gonna thread that on over the hook, see if we can do that. You wanna get the material, the silicone material out of the way. And obviously with any soft plastic that you're putting on, keeping it nice and straight as you thread it on is always key. Sorry about that, got it out of the camera angle there. So nice and nice and uh, straight as best as you can. I kind of got a little bit of a kink in there, but I don't think it's gonna impact the action at all. But so there's the mushroom jig with a Ned Senko, three inch Ned Senko. The beautiful thing about the three inch Ned Senko is it floats. Unlike the uh, traditional Senko where it falls quickly and that brings the action. The Ned Senko is designed to stand up on end. So if you can just imagine this mushroom jig is standing up on end like this as it hits, when it hits the bottom, you know, you're gonna work it along the bottom and then stop it or as it hits the bottom on the vertical descent, it's gonna wanna stand that bait up or at least hold it there momentarily because I haven't actually had it in the water. I don't know if that'll, you know, is buoyant enough to stand that bait up however long, but I would imagine it's gonna suspend it there for a second, even if it ends up, you know, falling over. So it's gonna have kind of uh, a couple of th different things. It'll kind of draw attention as it stands up, but then also as it fall, because it's floating material, it's actually gonna kind of give it some hang time as, it's, as it falls towards the bottom. It's gonna kind of counteract the weight. And um, I feel like this is just gonna be a, a tremendous uh, presentation for clear water, heavy fishing uh, pressure situations, post frontal type places, places where you have large mouth, small mouth and spot. Usually when you have a multi-species fisheries, the bass don't get as big as places where small mouth are dominant large mouth are dominant or small mouth or, or spotted bass are dominant. Whenever one of the species is most dominant, that's when you tend to have a, a bigger overall size for that dominant fish. But when you have a fisheries that has a lot of different uh, species like large mouth, small mouth, spotted, then overall the, the, the average size of fish gets a little bit smaller. And I feel like this is going to be a tre tremendous way to not only catch fish in a finesse fishing situation, but it might actually catch you a little bit better average size fish than just a Ned by itself. So pretty excited about this guy. I'm, I don't know what size hook that is, but I'm gonna say it's looking like it's a size one or one aught, but it's the perfect size for that Ned presentation. The Mushroom Jig by Buckeye Baits, little wire, uh, guard there to keep you out of the uh, rock, gravel, cover, brush, wood. I think this is going to be something that is really going to put some fish in the boat and I think we'll be surprised at just how big some of those fish are. Um, I'm definitely going to have these in the boat for the tournament uh, season and as far as like gear that I would throw it on, I'm going to throw this on spinning gear, probably medium action spinning gear, 12, 10 to 15 pound test braided line to probably an eight to 10 pound test. I might go lighter depending on the situation, but eight to 10 pound test, gamma edge fluorocarbon, probably a seven foot medium action spinning rod. If I'm gonna go with a uh, casting gear, I'm probably gonna go with straight eight or 10 pound test fluorocarbon and probably a medium to medium light or a medium action with a extra fast tip because I don't wanna put a lot of you know pull or potentially put too much pressure on this hook because it is a lighter wire hook, medium to medium light wire hook. But uh, super cool bait, looks amazing to me, just first glance. Again, I have never tied this on. Um, I do plan to, to uh, really get uh, better at understanding the why, when, where, and how to fish this guy. Uh, you know, I've caught fish on Ned rigs, and so I think I'm just gonna apply this in some of the same situations that I catch fish with the Ned, and maybe I'll get a little bit bigger fish when fish want some more bulk, or maybe they're fish feeding on crawdads. But that's the new bait, the Mushroom Jig by Buckeye. I'm not exactly sure how many sizes they offer in it. I know I got the 3 16ths and the quarter. They may have a 3 8 they may not, but, um, Get yourself some, love to hear some feedback. Probably guys are already catching fish on these and I'm kind of 
uh, late to the party. But either way, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Good fishing.